Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase. So firstly I would like to just say I apologise uh, that this is not a live from the workshop. The reason being is because uh, at the time of recording this, probably not the time you're watching it, but at the time of recording I am still uh, at my parents house before moving to Sweden. As such my workshop is a temporary workshop that I am uh, designated to outside. Unfortunately because of uh, it being outside, it is often affected by weather, which means if it is uh, not a nice day, I have to construct things inside rather than outside. And unfortunately, I do not have the space to film them inside. So this, uh, this and another custom that you are going to see in the coming weeks uh, is are two that I had to do inside so unfortunately I didn't manage to record them but um, I still want to show them as, as custom figure showcases. Secondly I would just like to say because I know it's something people are going to ask uh, is this is the only hoodie outfit 12th Doctor that I am making it is the only one I have planned to make and it's probably the only one I'm prepared to make the reason being is because I am not big on the hoodie outfits in general I, I appreciate that a lot of people like them but it, to me, it just doesn't really suit the character. I'm not a fan of it. The only reason that I've done it in this custom is because it is part of the custom. That's how he looks in the episode, and that's how I wanted it to look. But just generally, I am very much on Clara with the side that the uh, red velvet jacket was very much more like the Doctor. Uh, I greatly uh, appreciate that jacket far more than I appreciate the hoodies. I feel that the hoodies were slightly sort of the Doctor having his pre-death crisis as you were and he was trying to sort of it seems like he was I don't know it seemed like he was trying to sort of have the Time Lord equivalent of a midlife crisis with all the t-shirts and the guitars and it, it just as much as I love the guitar playing and things like that it was just the outfits the costume I didn't really think it worked so it is not something that I'm going to do again in future but I've done it for this one and I shall get on to explain this custom a bit more now so Overall, it is just a standard Davros chair as it came out of the factory. The only real change that I've had to make are removing the shoulder parts because obviously they wouldn't fit over the top and extending, as you can see at the back here, the headrest because um, uh, the Doctor sits quite low in the chair in the episode but the problem is, is if I try and sit him low in the custom it means that his arms would essentially be out here somewhere because they won't fit on the rest and it didn't look quite right so I had to fit him in as best as I could but then it meant that the original headrest was down here somewhere and obviously in the episode it's right behind him so I have done my best to uh, rectify that by raising it slightly and so it's more sort of in line um, but apart from that as I said it is just your basic Davros chair onto the figure now this is again uh, a basic 12th Doctor figure I've changed the head over to Peter Capaldi and I gave the hair a quick repaint. I might do the same on my uh, red velvet custom because I actually quite like it. It was just an experiment really with the hair but it's actually come out quite well. I'm very pleased with how that's come out. Um, so yeah, overall 12th Doctor figure and then I've sawn him off uh, just sort of, if you'll excuse the expression, at the crotch. Uh, removed the legs and glued him in so he's in there. He doesn't obviously pivot or move or anything like that but as I showed you before, his arms uh, all still move and everything. Uh, sorry about that, I had to have a quick slight cut there due to a camera issue. Uh, so yes, his arms uh, do still uh, move and everything. They all pivot and they all move. Uh, his head moves, although his head is, as you can probably see, uh, a little bit loose, but uh, it is still fits fine. Uh, the shirt front is actually just uh, re-sculpted um, from the existing shirt front with the buttons, what I've done is trim off the collar uh, and uh, flatten that out uh, with a bit of milliput and obviously add on the pink collar. Um, he doesn't actually have a pink collar on this t-shirt. What he does have is a uh, buttoned up under vest which is pink but um, the easiest way that I could sort of replicate that in the figure was actually just to have a solid pink collar but you know it, it still looks right, it still looks the part that I wanted it to. Uh, the t-shirt design is literally just paint just put on. Um, I googled 12th Doctor uh, which is familiar t-shirt design uh, found a close approximation of a picture that I could find of it and basically just did my own close approximation of it on the front of his t-shirt and then obviously the other bit which I know people are going to want to see is the hood on the back again just sculpted in with milliput 
Uh, again, just for the sake of saying, I apologize if it's disappointing to people, but it's not something I'm gonna make as another custom. I appreciate that people may want to see it, but it's just not something that I that I feel like I'm I want to do. Um, you know, so uh, it's this is the closest you're gonna get to seeing it. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna I, I I will see how his outfits progress in series ten. Who knows? Something may come up for that, but for now I'm sticking with my red velvet uh, jacket version. But that is a different custom. But for this custom, that is my twelfth doctor in Davros's chair. I know it's something that a lot of people have wanted to see for a while. I certainly hope that it uh, has lived up to people's expectations. Uh, just uh, a quick word that uh, Davros has not been wasted from this either. He has been... Um, uh, let's just say he's in the infirmary. Which might give you a hint to how a future custom of him from this is going to turn out. Uh, some of you may have already seen some teasers on my Twitter, but as for this custom figure showcase, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.